TCP is the last step in solving the FTO, and it's once you get all your pairs formed, your corner triangle pairs, you just do one alg to solve the rest of the puzzle. And for notation, I will be using Ben's notation for this tutorial. And Ben's notation is like this. This is F, U, R, L, B, R, B, L, B, and D. And most of the algs will be executed like this. So F will look like the R layer, but just know that this is F and not R if I'm doing an algorithm like that. There are three different types of TCP cases. This first one is where all either all three match or none of them match. And this is called even TCP because you have to do an even number of swaps to the triangles to get them to match their, their quarters. So for example, this would be even TCP because to you need to do zero triangle swaps. And this would be even TCP because there's two needed. If you swap these two and then these two, you would have your matching pairs. Odd TCP is where you have an odd number of swaps. In this case, one. And one's the only number of swaps, but just still odd TCP. For odd TCP, the algs are a little bit more complex. But they're not too bad once you get the hang of them. And recognition for those will be um, which of these two triangles needs to flip to be in the right spot. The last type of case is two flip. And it's just where this triangle is in the correct spot so that this center is solved. And these algs are easy if you don't mess them up. I don't know what I did. Um, yeah. <laughs> First, we will go over our even TCP cases. So for these, AUF, you recognize by just like what you would need to do to solve these centers. AUF is really easy for recognition. And for the alg recognition, first what we're going to do is we're going to recognize whether the triangles need to cycle clockwise or clockwise or counterclockwise. And in this case, we have counterclockwise. So this goes to here, this goes to here, and this goes to here, and that's this way. And we recognize clockwise or counterclockwise, and then for each of those, there are three more cases. And we recognize what which corner in the back matches with the corner or matches with the center and in this case it's the one on the right and it can either be the one on the right the one on the left or neither and for this case when they need to cycle counterclockwise and the one matches on the right this is just a hedge so you can rotate over here and do a hedge but if you're recognizing from this angle you can do a you can hold it from here you can just go up here u f prime u prime f and then auf you can do it like on the on the r layer this next case is actually the same one because i set it up wrong this next case is the mirror and this one might be easy for you to recognize but you still want to know how to recognize it in the standard way. If these need to cycle clockwise, so red goes to needs to go to red, blue needs to go to blue, purple needs to go to purple. This is a clockwise cycle, and the one on the left matches. You can rotate, do a sledge, or what I prefer to do is hold it like this, and then do U prime F U F prime. For this case. You can see that for the triangles, they need to cycle counterclockwise because blue needs to go to blue, red needs to go to red, purple goes to purple. This is counterclockwise. And 
the matching color is on the left this time. For this case, you're going to hold it over here and do kind of the start of the first alg and then cancel into your apron and then AUF, the same recognition. And this is the mirror, so triangles need to go clockwise and the matching is on the right. And for this case, you can start the, like the same and then do F, D, F prime, U prime, F, D prime, F from U, F prime, and then AUF will be on the L layer. And AF recognition is the same. For this case, when the triangles need to cycle clockwise and there's no matching, um, you can do a move to solve this this triangle like this. So that would be a U prime, then do F prime D F and a U, then undo those three moves. And when the triangles need to cycle counterclockwise, blue goes blue, red goes to red, purple goes to purple. This is the mirror, and you're going to hold it from this angle to a U. Uh, I'm blanking. So, and then F, D prime, F, U prime, F prime, D, F prime. Then AF recognition is just whatever you you move would solve the centers. <clears throat> now onto odd TCP recognition for this is you look at the back, which triangle needs to flip to be in the right spot. If I flip this, it would be blue here. But if I flip this, it'd be red here. So this one's the one that needs to flip, and since the flip's on the right and the matching's on the opposite side, then we're going to do this out. So it's going to be a UOT and notation for rotations. I should have probably went over this, but um, if I say a move, so for example, U, that's a U, but if I say UO, you're just going to rotate the whole puzzle like you did a U. Then a T is just twist around this front corner. So that's a T. So rotation U O T, then you're going to do a U D prime at the same time. Then just F U prime F prime D and then rush it up and do a hedge. And for the mirror, when this one needs to flip and the matching's on the opposite side, it's it's going to be UO, then RO, prime. No, it's not. I'm dumb. UO prime, T something. Well, you go to this angle, then U prime, D, and then F prime, U, F D prime, and then sledgehammer. For this case, when the triangle that needs to flip is on the left and the matching color is also on the left, you are going to um, start by moving this corner towards the corner that needs to flip. And then this is going to be your AUF recognition. So it's going to be a UAUF. Then rotate to here and you're going to do F, D, F prime, then A, U, then F, D, F, U prime, F prime, D, F prime. And then A, U, F, just rotate, do it like this, do it, do it with a flick, just do it however. For the mirror, when this needs to flip and the matching's over on the right, they match, you're going to do a, a U prime, and then this is where you're going to recognize the AUF from, so we're going to have a clockwise AUF. Then you're going to do the same alg, but from the a different angle, kind of. 
it's like mirrored but it's fine so f prime d prime f u prime f from d prime f from u f prime d prime f then clockwise a u f all right when the flip is on the left and there's no matching you're going to do the same thing as the last dog do a move to bring this front corner to where the flip was so right there and then this is where af is going to be recognized from and it starts the same as the last dog but once you get here you're just going to do a d prime f u prime f prime and then auf is the same and when the flip is on the right, it's the same alg, pretty much. Just do a move the corner to where the flip is, and then this can be your AUF. Start with that, like the last alg. But now you're just gonna do a D, F prime, U, F prime, and then AUF. We are almost done, and now we are on the two flip cases. So for these, you can recognize them by this triangle being in the correct slot. And for there's even and odd TCP cases for this one, but there's only three of each just because of the nature of there not being like clockwise and counterclockwise triangle permutations. But for this case, when it's on even TCP and um, there's no matches, it's just a regular two flip. So you can just do hedge sledge, then AUF is the same. For this case, where you have this triangle here and this, it, the matching is on the left rotate to here and do f prime u prime and then a slice move this is called this would be an f f s prime because it's like the f layer but it's the slice so f slice prime u prime f u f slice and then u and then auf recognition is just the same and for this case it's a two flip because this matches and the matching is on the right. Hold it here and do F U F S U F R M U prime F S prime U prime then A U F. For this case you can see that is a it is an odd TCP and it's pretty easy to see that just because there's only one matching pair and is one swap to solve the triangles and for this it's a one flip and there's no matching so for on this one you're gonna rotate to here then r prime u prime not r prime f prime u prime f d prime f u prime f prime d f from u prime f and then the af is just the same as we started for this case, it's a two flip and the match is on the right and it's odd TCP. You're going to hold it like this. U prime F wide, U F prime, U prime, F wide prime F, U F prime. And then AUF is just the same as it starts. For this last case, when you have a two flip and odd TCP, or yeah, odd TCP, and the match is on the left. Hold it here. You're gonna do U F wide prime, U prime F, U, then F wide F, U prime, F. and the AUF is going to be the same. I hope that you guys can learn something about FTO from this tutorial and there will be timestamps down in the description but they'll just be for um even tcp odd tcp and then two flip so you should be able to just find those down in the description and 
I will also put a link to an ALG sheet, but be warned, the ALG sheet does not use the same color scheme as this. I don't, I do not think. The ALG sheet uses the color scheme for the land land face turning octahedron, which this black side is actually purple, just the stickers all fell off for me. And you can just see that, like, there's purple in the same place, blue's in the same place, but over here, green and red are switched. So, there will be a link to a document with all the algs in the description, but just know that the color scheme will be slightly different because green and red are actually swapped.